What's up guys welcome back to e-reviews Firstly I would like to apologize for the delay and secondly I've been getting a lot of questions regarding routing, warranty and OTA updates Well in this video I'm gonna answer all those questions and give you a clarity on what we are really doing here So stay tuned Well, the first question I would like to discuss about is will I void my warranty if I wrote the phone? Well, the answer is a simple no. You might ask how and why? Well, let me give you this scenario. Say supposing you have a problem with your phone and uh, you want to take it to the service center to get it fixed. But then you are scared whether they will deny it because you have rooted your phone. Well, in this case, all you got to do is unroot your phone. You might ask what does unrooting got to do with warranty? Well, when you unroot your phone, you go back to the stock ROM and uh, Xiaomi shouldn't really have a problem servicing a stock ROM phone. Moving on to the next and the most common question I've been getting is Will I get OTA updates after rooting my phone? Well, the answer is an unfortunate no, but I got some great news for you guys. You do not need to worry about OTA updates being an MIUI user. Well, you might say what? But calm down, let me explain. MIUI is a community run project and uh, what do you mean by community run project? Well, lakhs of developers around the world pitch in with their efforts every day to fix, update and develop the MIUI ROM. And all these updates are available on their website. Well, to make it easier for you guys, I've provided the exclusive MIUI Redmi 1S link in the description. Go ahead and bookmark this link and stay in touch with it every once in a week. If there is an update to a higher version, I'm going to show you guys how to stay rooted and update to the latest version. Well, in order to demonstrate OTA updates, I'm going to show you guys this unrooted uh, Redmi 1S and at what version it is running at. Go to updater. Yeah. As you can see, it's running the 43.0 stable version. And if I check for updates, it's going to show that you're running the latest version of MIUI. And it is because if you look at the website it, this is the latest version coming back to our, our rooted uh, redmi 1s i'm going to show you guys which version this one currently runs on go to updater as you can see it's running the 36.0.1 version which is the rooted one and if i check for updates it's going to tell me that you're running the latest version of MIUI, which is not true. So I'm going to show you guys how to update this rooted version to the latest 43.0. In order to download the latest 43.0 version, visit the second link that I provided in the description and download the .zip file. After you have done that, transfer the file to your phone and do the following steps. I have downloaded the version 43.0 MIUI.zip file and uh, I'm gonna show you guys where I have placed it and how it looks like. Go to Explorer and download. So there you can see MIUI H2A Global uh, with a couple of uh, alphabets and 43.0.zip file. Well, let's go ahead and update this rooted non OTA updatable Redmi 1S to the latest version well as you can see it's running the 36.0.1 version and it's showing that it's the latest update which is not true so let's click on the menu button and click on select update package I hope you guys can see okay no you guys aren't able to see but there you go select update package after clicking on the after clicking on the uh, menu button select update package navigate through to downloads and click on the MIUI 43.0 version after you click on that it's going to prompt you with the message saying to install the update and reboot your phone touch update let's go ahead and touch on update start update well this is going to take a couple of minutes because it's the it's a big f uh, file it's of almost uh, 515 MB so it's going to take some time I'm going to leave the camera rolling so you guys can see the process
well there you go we have successfully updated the non OTA updatable rooted Redmi 1S to the latest 43.0 uh, MIUI version there you go we have a we have a confirmation on the update well let's go ahead and check out on the updater well there you go we are running the 43.0 stable version and we did not need an OTA update so that's the power of MIUI guys having said that uh, I have to inform you guys that since we are back to the stable ROM this phone is not rooted let's go ahead and check it out well there you go this phone is not rooted but I have good news for you guys the routing process is same as before just go ahead and check out my other video I provided the link in the description to root and unroot the phone well, that brings me to the last question what happens to the underclocking if I unroot or update to another version well since I have no root access I will not be able to access no frills CPU control so I'm going to use this app called CPU Z and show you guys at what frequency the for the processor is at as you can see the processor is back to 1.6 gigahertz which means the heating issues are back well there you go I have rooted the phone and the current version is 43.0.1 let's go ahead and validate this on uh, root checker there you go congratulations this device has root access and now I'm gonna go to no frills CPU control and set the frequency to 1.3 and 300 384 respectively and apply on boot so that's about it guys I hope I have answered your questions on routing warranty and uh, OTA updates and uh, I just have one last thing to say please do not stick on to warranty and uh, OTA updates they're very old-fashioned phones these days are capable of doing much more than that and uh, if you stick on to that you're going to compromise with heating issues gaming experience and battery life which you do not want to do with this phone because it's got so much more inside it and I'm going to show you guys in, in the following days before I sign off from this I have a surprise for you guys in a couple of days so hold on to that and I'm still working on the battery fix issue so hold on to that as well but thank you for watching and uh, spread the word guys let all the other Redmi One S users know about this method and make the best out of their phone so thank you for watching once again like subscribe and share see you soon